Hello YouTubers, how you doing? CJ here, I hope you're keeping well. Alright, so um, this is my second video in one weekend. That's uh, a world record for me, I think. But as I said, um, I'm going to try to do regular videos as much as I possibly can. Um, although I'm slowing down with things, I do still have so many things happening at the same time. So, now... As I said last night, um, I normally talk and talk and talk at the beginning of my videos. And I was looking back at my earlier videos and I thought, a few people have said no, I've been talking so much at the beginning. So do you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to get right into it. So, the only thing I'm going to do is um, give a massive thank you to um, all the comments for yesterday's video. And um, the emails. Uh, I want to give a shout out to um, Adam Greenaway and uh, the Shakester. Yes, he knows who he is. Um, I forgot to give them a mention yesterday because I had so much going through my mind and I uh, wanted to get out. So, um, yeah. So, let's get right into it. So, yesterday's video was my Shake and Stevens um, vinyl album collection. And now I'm going to show you my... Shaken Stevens CD collection, which stems from 1970 all the way up to now, present day. Okay, um, I'm going to do another video for box sets and DVDs. This one is just going to be the CDs. So here we go. I'm going to start off by kicking it off with a legend. Um, again, any reflections or glares or shines, I do do apologise. And I should be a bit lighter now because I realised on the editing in the last video, my eyes was a little bit dark. I now have my light on, so I, hopefully this will be fine. So this is a legend. Now, this is a replication. I transferred all of my um, vinyl records um, of Shake the Stevens and the Sunsets. Transferred them to the PC, remastered them, took out all the crackles and the hisses and all that jaga, and um, put it in CD. And I went that extra mile and replicated the artwork. I have a, f I have a program on my computer where I can create colours in three, 300 DPI and 600 DPI. So, and plus more as well if I needed to. Plus, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The, the plus side of it, I can read all the small print and everything as clear as crystal. Now, I don't think that's going to show up on the camera because I'm using my phone to do this. And when I'm zooming in or going close, it can be a bit crap. No, you can't. But I can read it completely clear as day. So, there's my replication. Now, as I said yesterday, the information on the reissue um, of the vinyl is slightly different to this but uh obviously this is created from the original first pressing i even done because yeah the reason why i'm showing you the spines is because i did the spines exactly as they are on the vinyl so everything that's on the vinyl how everything looks is exactly how i've done the cds um this is the uh, cd label which is the same as the vinyl label. The only difference is, obviously, on the vinyl label you've got side one and side two, and you've got like just the tracks for side one, obviously, for each side. What I've done here, I've taken off the side one and side two, and I've put all the tracks that are on the album on the disc. And this is a special um, silver uh, CD that I've used. This photograph here you would have seen yesterday on my uh, va the well, I showed you the vinyl of the 1979 reissue of this album. Um, I just scanned in the back. I needed a, a photo for the fold-outs, you see. So, um, or the, or the, well, not the fold-outs, but the fold. You know what I'm on about, the insides. And I thought, well, I, I'll use that because it's kind of, it's the same photograph. From the, it's the same photo shoot then, should we say, but he's wearing the same, same jackets and stuff. So, yeah. That's Shake the Stevens, a legend, or Shake the Stevens and the Sunsets. Okay, the next one is I'm No JD. 
standing for I'm not a juvenile delinquent. And uh, let's check the original vinyl. Now, as I explained yesterday, the, uh, the track listings are in slightly different order. Um, the track list, sorry, the track listing on the reissues are in slightly different order than the original. So when I put this together, I did it as the original. <laughs> so as you can see, now this year is the single Sea Cruise and the B-side Honey Dunk, which are both on this album. So for the fold, I used it. Anything that um, like, like represents the albums or something that's in connection with the albums, I've used as the uh, the insides. And if there's been nothing, like there's no singles or anything, I've just used my uh, what's the word? Use my own thoughts. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, now, this album and the next album was put out as a double album. They were, well, actually, they were released separately on CD by uh, Rakers Records. So this is out on CD by Rakers Records. And also, if you can get it, it's quite hard to get hold of now, but you got this one here, how to be awarded um, two gold records by major record companies and not be paid a penny in royalties. Now, I believe this, well, not believe I know, this was put out by a guy named Paul Barrett, who was the manager of uh, Shake the Stevens and the Sunsets, who I happen to become very good friends with. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that at the very end, once because this is in my special pile. This is not actually on my shelf, because I've got a keepsake uh, sort of pile where... I keep things separate. So I'll show you this at the end, but the two albums on here is I Know JD and Rockin' and Shakin', which is the next album I'm going to show you. So there's I Know JD, using the original artwork. And here's Rockin' Shakin'. Now, there was no singles or anything um, from this album. Um, I can't really find any other, like, photos or anything. So I just used that. i just done that. This is me just using my own thoughts. <laughs> but obviously, the CD, as you, as you can tell, as you can see, it's um, just like the record label. And, yeah. So that's that. Rockin' Shakin'. See, I've got them all off the shelf huh? as I'm showing them at the back. Then we have the third one, which is Shaken Stevens and Sunsets. Again, I am sorry about any reflections or any glares. It does do my head in, but there we go. Now, as I said yesterday, when I showed you uh, the, the first pressing of this, I uh, there was a poster that uh, came with it, and I didn't get the poster. The poster didn't come with mine. Um, it was missing. And I could have found the poster to use in here, but I didn't. So there we go. But it is from the same... Um, this picture is actually on the inside of the gatefold of the vinyl. So I just found it and uh, put it in and used it. So yeah, Shaken Stevens and Sunsets. There we have Manhattan Melodrama. Okay, again, no singles or anything from this one. So, um, well, there was a single that uh, come from this album, but it was when it was released on the Mint label, and I didn't want to use that because obviously I was replicating the first pressing. So, um, I just took that back picture, took that off and what have you, and use it for the inside. Now the disc, you'll notice with this one, this one is where it comes a little different. Um, I was going to do the same as I've done with all the others, which is like putting the track listings on in and everything. But I uh, removed obviously this one, I've used the track listings when I've, when I've done the scanning. And put it in. And the more I looked at it, the more I just liked it the way it was. So I decided to keep it like that. So, happy days. I mean... Sometimes I don't get why the track is, in, is on the actual CD when it's on the cover. I mean, you're only putting the disc in to, to play, right? But 
you know, so there you go. So that's Manhattan Melodrama. And as I showed you yesterday, there were two, well, you had the first press in, and the first issue of uh, Come On Memphis, and then you had the, the, the other one with um, the lines going down. But on CD, yes, I kept it to the original first press in. And there were two singles from this album, so I got the picture sleeves for the singles, and I just done that. So that's that. All right now. So moving on now to Shaky's uh, solo career, but before I do, there were other songs made by Shaky Stevens and the Sunsets. Um. Sort of like sugary and hey good looking and so forth, which sub subsequently have been placed over and scattered over many budget uh, releases. And um, you know, like, like for instance, I got this CD here, which is which I was given actually as a gift. This is Double Play, and it's got some pretty cool tracks on you. Um, but this one at the moment is not in my CD, it's not on the shelf at the moment. I do have all of the other recordings that were on, like, like there's a song called My Baby Died, and um, there are uh, loads of other songs, like Handle a Fool, and uh, You Talk Too Much. I've got all of those recordings, and I'm in the middle of sorting those out, and I'm going to put um, a CD together, just one CD with all of those on, even if it's a, a double CD or triple, because there were so many different takes and different versions, so I'm putting all those into like one place. I haven't done that yet because I just haven't had the time. <coughs> so moving on out to Shaky Solar Career. And as I uh, said, there was an album for track records, which is called Shaken Stevens, aka Play Loud. I'll always call it Shaken Stevens. Um, now, the version I showed you yesterday, I showed you two. The first one I showed you was the one that came out in West Germany, which contained false starts and more studio chat. Now, I've not replicated that one and put that to CD, um, but I have done the original um, standard version, which I've replicated. Now, bear in mind, um, I said about silver CDs when I've done A Legend. For these CDs here, and a few of the others I'm about to show you as well, I got some very special CDs that I found online, and... Um, they just looked so lovely, and they were inkjets as well. And I thought, oh, these would be perfect. Um, and I'll show you the disc now. But as I showed you yesterday from the album, it came with a with a poster inside. So I used the poster as that. And the disc. Here it is. Look how shiny that is. Look how cool that is. So I used that. And that's my replication. <laughs> First, I should have done it all black, shouldn't I? Now, the CD I used for um, the Legend album, sadly, wasn't one of these ones because these are very, 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 very expensive. And um, I only bought one pack a few years ago and I I just I couldn't afford to get them again, especially now that things have changed and you've got to pay tax and everything when they come from the, U from the US. And there's no other place in... Uh, that I can find them on, and believe me, I have scoured the internet, scoured. But you find some, and they've got a good price, but when you then add up the postage, sometimes the postage is more than the item, which is stupid, and then you've got the import uh, tax and charges on, which, you know, but these are absolutely lovely discs. So there we go, let's play around. Uh, Shake and Stevens, yeah, I made a mistake there myself. So here we go, that's Shake and Stevens, this first solo album. I have a nice cup of tea as well. You can't beat a nice cup of tea, can you? Oh no. I've gone back there, anyway. Right. Okay, so now all of these particular CDs have been um, copied, uh, backed up from the Epic Masters box set and the 19 CD book pack box set, which is the Fire in the Blood, which I'm going to show you in a box set video. Let's take one, my replication of that, 
You see, you might be asking yourself, what if you've got the 19 CD box set and that? Why are you doing this? Well, let me tell you something. I am a sucker for dual cases. You just can't beat the classics in a dual case. So you can have all your CDs in order and they all look the blimmin' same. Uh, so yeah, that's why I do it. So this is take one. And here's the back cover. Yes, I did this. I know the original is a bit faded going off here, but this is how I did it. So there we go. This is my spine. And this actually is the sleeve from the... Um, take one in the Epic Masters box set. But look what I did there. You see, again, these are one of the special discs I was saying about. I've done these for quite a few of them, by the way. Um, yeah, this is like my take on like an Epic um, sort of CD disc design. <laughs> um, and before anyone asks, no, nothing that I have is for sale or trade, so don't bother asking. So, one and then a CD that's copied literally directly out of the uh, the 19 box set um, even the scan I didn't put a barcode on this really or anything like that this is the Shaker Stevens BBC in concert and this was recorded at the Paris Theatre London 1980 that's, that's how that got put out again like I said very basic there we go Okay, now I do have a bit of a story on a few of the albums here. Now, when they all got released and remastered, I decided, oh no, I decided, <sighs> drop in things here I am. I decided to, even the original CD releases that came out, such as this one here, this old house, this is the original CD and uh, it was put out by Collector's Choice, okay, and by Sony in 1993, this came out on CD, okay. It's not the first CD release of Shaggy, so that's the Soul House, but the disc that you see there is not the original disc that came in the case. This is one of those special ones that I did, as you can see, and I just like replicated the uh, the disc design the best way I could. However, the reason why I did it is because it's a remastered album. Now they did change and tweak tracks from two thousand five onwards. All the main hits like uh, "This Old House" and "Oh Julie" and so forth they got tweaked and changed. And from two thousand five, anything that came out after that period, it all had the tweaked tracks on. However, going back to 2004, they released a CD called Collectible. That was the last and only CD that you can get with the hits on, remastered, in the original form that they came in before. The original versions of the hits, fully remastered. The only way to get them is on Collectible. So when it came to doing this, I took all the um, remastered album tracks from the Epic Masters box set, and use them for this but the the main song this old house i took from collectible so that's how this cd is now remastered but i do still own the original disc that came in this case All right that is the original cd that came okay and Maybe some of you are wondering, why the hell are you doing that? Well, I like everything remastered. Um, to have the albums on CD, when they first got put out, they wasn't exactly remastered. They were just transfers from the from the original tapes and so forth in the studio put on the disc. And yes, they sounded bloody good, I tell you. But, um, you know, I liked everything remastered, which is why I did this. Now, there was a part of me thinking of putting the original discs back in the original cases with the original colours. But, um, because I do listen to them. But then, you see, I listen to my vinyl albums as well a lot. So it's like, if I want to listen to the original versions, I'll stick the vinyl on. 
And if I want to listen to the remastered versions, then I'll put my CD on. So, but this is the, like I said, this is the original CD case and cover. And um, not much really of an inside, it just says, uh, Collector's Choice is a unique collection of classic recordings now released on compact disc. And obviously it's got all the um, artists and the the names of the album. And uh, let's try and see where Shakey's is. Because this would be on it. Shaken Stevens, Shaken Stevens. Yep, there it is. <laughs> right there, this old house. <laughs> so, yeah. And I've done that. Now I've done this, right? I've done this with all of the albums that came out on CD, okay? And I keep the originals together, like there's two in here. And there's this old house and there's the Bob Bone Stop, which I'll be showing you as I come around to it. So I do still have the original CD discs. Some of you now, excuse me, some of you now might be even shouting at me watching this video. But, you know, we've all got our personal preferences, so don't judge, you know, have... Have respect. We've all, we've all got our respect for each other because the world is too nasty not to. So, this old house. Now, you see, not all of Shaky's albums were released on compact disc. So, again, it's another reason why I did it from the remastered version to have them all sound the same and everything else. Now, this one, for instance... The Shaky album. So the Shaky album itself wasn't released on compact disc. However, I don't know whether you call it a substitute. I mean, or the equivalent. I guess the equivalent would be the Green Door album, which is the same album. However, You Drive Me Crazy is not on the Green Door album. They took it off there and they put um, Hot Dog on it. And... This got this. This is um, that was released in Australia. You see, over here in the UK and everywhere, you had the Shaky album. In Australia, you had the Green Door album, and I think what it was the the um, the album, this old house that I just showed you, that was released in Australia. And at the time, you drive me crazy was still a single. So when this old house was released in Australia, they added um, that they put you drive me crazy on that. You still had the old, you know, this old house album, you know, all the songs, they didn't take any off or anything, they just put You Drive Me Crazy on there as well. So when it came to the Shaky album, they took You Drive Me Crazy off and they put um, Hot Dog on it. So that's the only difference. And it, it said Green Door along the top, Shaky and Green Door. And uh, become the Green Door album. When it was released on CD, it was released on the Pickwick label. And uh, it had like a green, uh, it had like a, a squared off like sort of picture of this cover with shaky and then green door here and then green uh, shaking Stevens and green door going up the top with a green background so now i used to have that but um before the 19 cd box set came out i actually sold all my you know original cds well not all of them i sold the green door and i sold give me a heart tonight um is there a part of me regretting it? Yes, but I really, really was, you know, bills came in and, you know, I needed the money, so I sold them, and I remember getting 90 quid for the Green Door CD. So anyway, so obviously I replicated the original album as it is on LP, which is taken from the Epic Masters box set. So I'll share it. Mm -hmm. What I did do, however, I mean, I showed you yesterday the um, the sleeve that you got with, you know, the, the paper sleeve thing that you got with the Shaky album. So I just found the one side of that and used it for the fold. And as I, well, as you can see, I, I did the Shaky logo there. <laughs> Which I've kept this more looking like with, where you got the blue, the blue border and everything, cause the blue background stuff. And I made it look like uh, more of an original epic and I did change you know, like that type thing, the, the logo and everything. So, a shaky album. And again, the hits like Green Door, like I said, from 2005, they're all tweaked. But for Green Door on this CD, I took it from Collectible. 
Again, I'll come. I'll explain all about that when I come to it. So, shaky. I mean, as I did explain also yesterday with this album, this had three singles on here. You had "You Drive Me Crazy," "It's Raining," "Green Door," all on the side one. You also had "Mona Lisa," which was a single in Japan and South Africa, and what have you. So, happy days. And uh, that is my favorite album cover. The most iconic album cover. I love it. So it is shaky. And then you had Give Me Heart Tonight. Ooh. See from the Epic Master Slaves. Again, I'll, I'll be showing you all this when I show when I do my box sets video. And I obviously I changed the design a little bit here of the disc. I went for like the, the bop won't stop type of thing. So, so that's that. And she said, the bop won't stop. Okay, and then we have now this is an original CD. And uh, in the, the original CD, it's in its case. I haven't taken this out, I've kept this as it is. This is one of my most treasured CDs in my collection. The track here is. Very, 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 very rare and hard to come by. This is. It's become a very, bit of, it's become a bit of a collector's item. I mean, one of these not long ago sold on eBay for around two hundred pounds, um, and I've been offered money for this one when fans know that I've had it. Um, but I won't part with it. It's a, it's an amazing uh, CD. I absolutely, excuse me, absolutely love it. Um, this was released on CD, originally released in nineteen eighty three. But in, it didn't come to CD until 1989. So... And to find it, and to find it in like, mint condition is, is rare. There's quite information there about it. Absolutely love that. Now I've got all my CDs and everything ripped to my PC. So whenever I'm working in the den or whatever, I will listen to them. Okay, so here's the Bop Won't Stop. That's the next album. Now this is again, like the This Old House, it's the original case and cover. But the disc is not the original disc. Although this one looks really, really close. Because I do still have, like this one house, I have the original CD. Still. If you look at the design on that, and the design on that, it looks pretty cool. So, yeah. That's the original CD that came with it. Um... Together and there. So yeah. This does come with a booklet. So not many pictures if, as the gatefold. If you remember correctly when I showed you the gatefold album in yesterday's video. It was a few pictures, good few pictures on the uh, on the gatefold, but not on the original CD. That's the bot won't stop. Okay, now there are exceptions to where I put the um, to where I've kept the original discs in the cases. Um, obviously, the track use is one of them. I'm gonna have to recopy that though. Um, and back it up so I can play the disc. Although I won't change, I won't take it out of its case. I'll keep that in its case. I'll just do myself a back of the album. This is the original greatest hits, and um, I love the cover case on this too. Nice red case. And this was fantastic when it came out because um, it featured the Blue Christmas EP and the. The bonus hit at the time, uh, Breaking Up My Heart. So, it's 
on CD. And like I said, this is one of the exceptions. I've kept the original disc in the original case. Mainly because it's like a hit combination. There's nothing really much in here, just the same information that you get on the vinyl, which I did explain yesterday and show on the vinyl. So there we go. Greatest hits. Okay, now me, I'm a sucker for um, chronological order, and uh, I don't know what it is. I just I just take a lot of pride in my collection. So sort of whether whether it comes to Elvis, Shaky, Meatloaf, uh, Motley Crue, uh, you know, ACDC, because uh, I love all of them bands, and you know I got everything they've ever done. I got a massive collection, massive collection. Such a small room is pretty good. How you store things. Um, okay, so back to shaking now. Um, <laughs> I love everything in chronological order. And between those albums, obviously, he was releasing the singles where you got the B sides. And during that period, there were some early singles that didn't get put out onto albums. Uh, Greatest Hits, for instance, is an album in itself because it contains Breaking Up My Heart which was a bonus single, and also Blue Christmas, the EP version, which, obviously, as far as I'm concerned, with those two songs being on there, it's worth it having that CD as an original album. Um, so, I put this together myself. This is called Don't Be Like This Kate. I named it that because it's actually one of my favourite B-sides, and also it's Shaky's favourite B-side, which he stated himself in an interview not so long ago. Um, well, I'd say not so long, maybe a few years ago now. But this contains songs such as Endless Sleep, Fire, Treat Her Right, and you know, Apron Strings, um, I'm For You, Think of You, You and I Were Meant to Be, Don't Be Like This Kate, It's Good For You, Baby. The only A side it actually contains is uh, Your Ma Said You Cried in Your Sleep Last Night, which was released as a single in Europe only. Um, and obviously you've got the live versions then you have of like Case Sera, Sera, Lordy Miss Claudie and Josephine and you know the pop won't stop, why do you treat me this way, you know. Stuff like that, stuff that were only on like B-sides and you know like singles that never came out on albums. So that's what this is but it goes right up to Don't Tell Me We're Through which is the um, um, I'm not sure whether I should put this before my greatest hits because of the years. I think I might. I think I've messed up my own collection here. Mind you, I put it as 1984 anyway, so on the copyright I put there just for it to look authentic. Now, this album cover, believe it or not, is actually the album cover that was used. Whoop, or should I say the, the artwork for the album cover. Um, this picture here and the back picture is actually the US version of Give Me a Heart Tonight. Because like I explained yesterday... Um, on my vinyl of the video, Give Me a Heart Tonight, when it got released in the States, two tracks were missing from it. It wasn't the um, full album. But I like the artwork still, so still kept it in the collection somehow. And this is my disc, and I advertised The Greatest Hits. So do you know what? I'm going to keep it where it is in my collection. <laughs> so, yeah. That's that. Now, this next album was due to be released on CD. In fact, when it came out, it, um, there was a big promotional sign for it, and underneath it stated it was going to be released on uh, vinyl, cassette, and compact disc. Sadly, it never got put out on, contact, on compact disc. And that's lipstick powder and paint. As you can tell, I kept the side one and side two in. <laughs> Go. I experimented, as you can tell, you with the colours on the disc. <laughs> so, there we go. Lipstick powder and paint. Now, the very first, by the way, I, for I forgot to say this. When I was showing you the Bob on stop, that was the very first compact disc of Shake and Stevens to be released. And this was actually the second. Now...
again, here's the original CD. Okay. It's the original CD. And my backup of it is in the case. Which I don't know, a standard white disc and down it would be the, the vinyl label. Now, on the remastered version of this album in the Epic Masters box set and the Fire in the Blood box set, you can't skip the live tracks. It's the, the live medley is all one track, you can't skip it. Whereas on the original CD release, you can skip the live tracks. So use what I did. Um, now, I already explained yesterday in my vinyl video about the song, What You Wanna Make Those Eyes At Me For. On the original version, uh, it was an alternate song that shouldn't have really been on the album. But um, on the Epic Masters and the Fire in the Blood box set, they changed that and corrected it. Um, basically, it's the same version on both albums. But me, well, I did basically a backup of my original CD. However, I used... Come See About Me, Forever You, A Little Boogie Woogie in the back of my mind, and Because I Love You, from the from the remastered version in the Epic Masters. What you want to make those eyes at me for is the version that's on the original CD release. So it's the alternate version that should have been on there. And the Hits Keep Coming medley, which was recorded on uh, Sunday, December 7th, 1986, at the... London Palladium. I took the, all of those songs again from the original CD. So, and they do sound remastered. And so does what you want to eyes at me for. It's a really good sound in the um, track. So, you basically got the album remastered as it should be, in my opinion, kept as it should be. We even skip the tracks. That. Come see the bad me. I got that song in my head now. And do you know something? Of course I did. I did the same thing with the next album. A whole lot of shaky. Here's the original CD. A whole lot of shaky. And the one inside the case is my version. Ta -da! I used a different little design there. Now, what I did for this one, uh, like I said yesterday, do on, on my in my vinyl video, there, there were some tracks that were changed, like "Hello Josephine," um, "One More Will I Be Done to Me," some of them like a, a different sort of mix. I actually really like the mix that um, they use on the Epic Masters and the um, the 19 box set um, for the Fire in the Blood. So what I did was I used those versions. I didn't exactly uh, change anything. Um, and obviously on here it's got the uh, single version of what I'm make as, as a me for. So yeah, this is literally, oh, I did change Old Julie. I changed Old Julie and I took the version from Collectible because that's the untweaked version and it's remastered. So. I did use that. So this is a whole lot of shaky. So like I said, there is a part of me that's still thinking about putting the original CDs back in that back into the original cases, but like I said, I enjoy listening to the remastered versions. Um and if I want the originals, I'll play my vinyl. You know, I'll make this clear, I love vinyl. You can't beat vinyl. But again, we all have our different opinions. Okay, so, um, moving on now. Now, the next album is something I put together. This was only released in Asia on cassette. And because it's because it was official, um, I thought, well, I'll put it together on CD and just pop it into my collection. Love songs. Um, I did that. Very basic, nothing formal about it.
12 songs. And then we have the two kinds of music, rock and roll. And yes, guess what I did again. Do I really have to say? No, I don't. Here's my original CD. Now the CD version, as I explained in my vinyl uh, video, it uh, originally came out on Telstar, which is what my vinyl is. On CD, I had it on, I did have it on Telstar years ago, but um, since I've been recollecting everything, I just bought it on the Epic label. So this is the original disc. And and that's the remastered version. Go. There are two kinds of music: rock and roll. And the last CD that uh, I uh, got in the plastic wallet and changed is, yes, the next album. Merry Christmas, everyone. Here's the original CD release. Here is the original cover with, with case. And that's my disc. <laughs> The epic is now again, as I explained in my vinyl video, I'm very fussy with compilations, so I only kept them for was you know meaning for it. Um, this one was obviously a solely release of the single radio. Okay, so then now I'm not a singles guy, right? I'm uh, I'm not a big fan of singles. Well, on CD anyway, I'm not a big fan of singles on CD, but I do have two. I do own two. Lastly, I can help. CD single. Now this came out in 1994 on the arcade label because uh, Shaky did. Um, when, that, when Shaky done radio in 92, he took a break from recording, and then in 94, he released this. And a compilation was released called The Singles Collection. I did have that, but again, I was just really fussy with my compilation albums, so I got rid of it. I mean, I also had the Danish Collection. Um, I had a whole lot of hits, which I think was called a whole lot of hits, the Danish Collection. I had... Um, Oh, what do you call it? I had the very best of. I had the Hits and More box set. I had Shaky the Hits 1, 2 and 3 box set. Um, I had the Hit Collection. I had the Hits of Shaky Stevens 1 and 2. Um, there was, I think there was a few others as well. Uh, but I just got rid of them all. You know, too many of the same songs and stuff. So this was only released, however, in Germany, this single was. It was not released in the UK. It didn't get released in the UK until, I would say, 2005, when they put the song over the DVD collection on the picture gallery that's on that DVD, shall I say. And the intro was extended. So I would say maybe that, but officially on CD, uh, they didn't release it, I guess, until 2000 and 2020, when it came out on the... Uh, the um, Fire in the Blood box set because it's not on the Epic Masters, so there we go. So I just kept the same. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, 
Okay, so then, you know, there's like, then I got various rare, uh, various rarities, which is something I put together myself. Um, this contains songs like, uh, uh, songs from the Elvis musical that he did, like King Creole and Jailous Rock. Um, it's a Bluebird Blue US version only. Now, you know that if you've seen my vinyl uh, collection, I showed you a 10 inch of a vinyl that was only released in the US. And the version of Is A Blue Bit Blue on there is an alternate version. So I just transferred it myself and uh, put it onto disc. The same with Cry Just A Little Bit. When that came out in the US, there was like a different mix to it. Um, and it's still not put on the CD anyway. So I, again, I did have that one. So I transferred that and um, put that onto disc. So yeah, you got stuff like that on you. Yeah? Oh, I put my finger in the woodpecker's hole and the woodpecker said, God bless my soul, take it out. Oh. Just ignore me, I'm in a cheerful mood. All right. Wild and hard. This is a brilliant, brilliant track. I love this song. Um, this CD pretty much follows on from where Don't Be Like Miss Kate, that compilation that I that I did kind of takes off like it's got as long as come back and love me you shake me up b-side version you know if I can't have you and you know uh, oh baby don't and it's got the acoustic version of radio and I can help calling you um I need you now or wild at heart now this falls in with the, the the 2000 um period because why well doing a lot of research yeah, it didn't take much research, really, if I'm honest. Just a snapshot of something that was sent to me, and then I did some other finding out and some digs. Um, in 2020, um, obviously, I Need You Now came out, and Wild at Heart came out. Now, people thought that they were new recordings. There wasn't new recordings. They were just previously unreleased recordings that Shaky decided to pull out in, in 2020. Originally, they were both recorded in uh, 2000. So, and an indication of that as well is if you've got the um, Fire in the Blood box set and you've got, you know, if you pick up the, the last extra CD, look at where they are in the track listings. And also as well, um, look at the, what it says in brackets. It says previously unreleased, right? Now, if you know that, if you know what the meaning is, then you'll know that it, they're not new singles or anything. Um, um, also as well, yeah, same thing for I Can Help Them Calling You. Um, they turned around and put the copyrights and published 2020, which we all know published uh, means when they were first, you know, put out. Yes, they were first put out in the UK in 2020 um, on that box set. Uh, same with I Need You Now and Wild Heart. So there we go. So that's basically where this uh, comes up. So I use this for that. Uh, what I did was I uh, that is actually a scan of the uh, the, the, the German uh, compilation release that I said about the, the singles collection. I just thought because of what it said, I thought it'd be pretty cool. So there we go. <laughs> okay, then I had something sent to me. Then um, I've, I, so I've had things sent to me for years and years and years. I've never done anything with them to be quite honest with you. But this is a, a live concert of Shaky. This is called Back on Stage. Uh, recorded uh, live at Kingsland Corn Exchange, 15th to the 4th, 99. That's that. Yes, I, I love the picture design. And while I was showing you my vinyls, I showed you uh, the, um, the single out in the red vinyl. And obviously the one I just showed you was the, the white version, which actually came out on three CD sets of single out, which I'll be showing you very shortly. So this is uh, back on stage. Um, and I actually, I'm friends with uh, Linda Gay Lewis. Um, I'm friends with a lot of uh, people, um, but I keep that part of myself uh, a little private. Um, and I remember asking uh, Linda about this. What it was, she shared something, and uh, I think it was a poster or something, or a picture. So I can't. I messaged her, and uh, I asked her, you know, about it and stuff. So, so yeah, Linda Gay Lewis was on tour with Shaky at that time. And um, she's such a wonderful, wonderful lady. OK, 
Okay, and then the next one I've got then is um, Shaker Stevens' Cardiff Millennium Concert, December 31st, uh, 1999. Um, recorded live at the Cal Carinen Festival Street Party. Uh, that's that. I even used the Welsh colours. <laughs> Welsh, Welsh colours, sorry. <laughs> what I love about this, he sings a uh, wheel gone lover. And of course, Linda Gale um, wasn't with him when he did this concert. Um, because I believe obviously at that point the, the tour was over, I think, and uh, obviously Linda went home. Um, and he sang Wheel Gone Lover on his own, and whew, it's rocking, man. Uh, okay, so this is something I put together myself, this one. Um, this is the 12 inch singles. Now, on the Epic Masters, they brought out, um, they, they put in the box set a 12 inch single CD, but it didn't include, it didn't include all of them. However, when they put out the, the Fire in the Blood box set, they put everything on that one in the extras uh, section of the, all the 12 inches. So um, there was one or two that wasn't included, like the, the Shaky Sings Elvis 12 inch uh, version wasn't included. Uh, now I had that uh, transferred already, <clears throat> so I put that on you, yeah. and then I decided to take the DVD collection and rip the um, I Can Help with the extended intro, I put that on there, and to make it so I could have 10 tracks on each disc, there was a CD that got, that got uploaded in 1999 called the Rock and Roll Hit Mix, um, there was a radio version and a maxi version on that CD, so I ripped those and put it together all on here, so um, yeah, that's the cover of the uh, the CD they put in the Epic Masters. So technically, all of these are like backups. You know what I mean? The backups of original things, original CDs. <sighs> okay, and then we come to a very, very, very exciting CD. I'm really, really, really excited about showing you this because this is. Um, my favourite, all time favourite compilation of Shaky's Greatest Hits. This is Collectible. Now this came out in 2004 and it's the only CD that you can get with, it's the, not only the only CD but the last CD that came out with all the hits remastered. And what was, what, what's so amazing about this or what's so, what I love about it is that they didn't tweak any of the songs. This is the last and only release that you can get with all the hits remastered and untweaked and unchanged and, un and unedited. Um, this is brilliant. The sound of this is fantastic. Um, now this came out, like I said, 2004 and it accompanied a 12, um, a 12 track or 12 video, a 12 video should we say, 12 video DVD. Um, which features this old house, uh, a little boogie boogie in the back of my mind, come see about me, watch all I make those eyes at me for, a rocking good way, love attack, teardrops, turning away, green door, radio, my cutie cutie, and it's late. That's the other videos on the DVD. Now, the only downfall, right, to these is the fact that uh, in 1992, when they released the Epic Years, it was obviously, that album was released on cassette and uh, double vinyl and um, CD. But they also put out a video VHS release called The Epic Years, uh, The Epic Videos, which is this right here, which I'm going to come to this when I show you, when I do my next video. Um, and basically they changed some of the videos, they got re-edited. And um, songs like This Old House and Green Door, I mean Green Door, you can hardly see Shaky in it. But... Um, you know, and they use those edits on you, so it was a little bit disappointed in that. However, My Cutie Cutie is in colour, and it's the only DVD officially out there that you can get that music video in colour. So, this is collectible. Now, I'm going to ask you to keep... I'm going to ask you to remember something in there. There's the CD and there's the DVD. And I want you to remember this right here. All right, there's no picture of Shaky, it just says CD and DVD, okay? So I'm going to ask you just to remember that a second. Because I'm going to show you another release in a minute. But I'm going to keep this one out as well. Which just came out with, a, obviously, a lovely book. Now the CD contains 24 tracks. All right.
Now this did very, very well for Shaky. Very well, if I can dump flat them, I think it was. So, collectible. If you haven't got this and you're a Shaky fan, you're missing out. Get this album, uh, find it on eBay, Amazon, whatever. It's an amazing album to get. Um, so this had 24 tracks on it. Oh, that was 2004. Now, due to the success of it, in, 20, in, in 2024, in 2004, sorry. So, in 2005, it marked the um, 25th anniversary of the Shakey's first single hit, which was Hot Dog. So, they put out the collection. Now, this contained 25 tracks and to promote this shaky uh did the tv well, competition show talent show whatever you want to call it uh hit me baby one more time which was a show where um singers came did the show did one cover song and one hit or one hit and one cover song whichever way you want to word it and if they win it, they'll end up recording a double A-side single to release and uh, a new album and so forth. Well, anyway, it was the only show around at the time, um, and Shaky has said this himself in many interviews, they were looking for a TV um, show or promotion sort of slot to promote this album. So we did the show to promote the album, and he, you know, he ends up winning it. I mean, I voted for him. I was getting all my friends to vote for him. I rang family members up and said, look, vote for Shaky. Um, I even wrote it um, on lampposts and bus stops. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't care. Um, and you won it. But anyway, let's get back to this. So this was uh, the twenty fifth anniversary of the the song "Hot Dog," and this the only downfall from here on in is that they tweaked the tracks. Some people said he went in the studio and re-recorded some of the sections. Um, I don't believe that. I just think the tracks were edited and um, tweaked from the original master tapes, as they say they remastered from. All tracks are digitally remastered from the original tapes. Okay. Um, and it says the same thing on the back of this as well. Um, but I believe collectible, they, they were remastered. They wasn't tweaked. With this one, they tweaked... This old house was tweaked. Um, old Julie, a green door. Um, it was, I think it was one or two others as well. But the, like the biggest hit, this old house, they tweaked that and everything. You know, it's not the same. And if you listen to them both back to back, you'll see what I mean. Um, so yeah. Now this also contains. Probably sure you'll see how the similarities are in design. The only thing that's really different, um, obviously, is the copyright part and the uh, obviously the title. This is, you know, obviously the collection. Now the DVD contains all the same videos, all the same versions as well of the videos, apart from one, which is My Cutie Cutie. My Cutie Cutie on the collection, they've done it in black and white. Why I don't know, but there we go. I guess they wanted to try to modernize it or give it a better feel. I don't know, but. Um, it's in black and white, which is a shame. But there we go. That's the way it goes, isn't it? Now, also, the diff the other differences are the collectible has 24 tracks and it contains the song Love Attack. Coll the collection contains 25 songs. Now, what they did was they took off the song Love Attack and replaced it with Hot Dog. Which makes sense with it being the 25th anniversary of Hot Dog. But they added Merry Christmas Everyone. So there's the differences there. And remember I said for you to remember that one part? Well obviously the disc design is different. And they obviously put a picture. But there you look. So this came with a card as well to download uh, his ringtones. <laughs> Shake his ringtones. Um, obviously the booklet is practically the same as collectible. Obviously there'll be a little, a little information in there that's slightly different, obviously. But other than that, it's more or less the same. So, um, 
the UK's equivalent to the European version of collectible would be the collection. Um, but you know what, they're both great um, releases to have, all the same, you know what I mean? I mean, I say I'm not a fan of the, uh, the tweaked versions of the hits, which I'm not. But you know what, everybody's to their own, and at the end of the day, when I do I listen to the tweaked versions? I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Do I skip the versions that are, that are changed? No, not really. At the end of the day, right, it is where it is. I think when you're growing up, when you're used to the hits being a certain way, that's what you're used to. And, you know, you can remaster them without tweaking them. And they prove that with collectible. But I don't want to come across or sound ungrateful to Shaky for releasing everything that he's given us, especially over the last few years. So anyway, that was collectible and the collection. Okay, so, after we didn't hit me baby one more time, um, on the show he did This Old House and he did the pink song Trouble, which rocked. Like, I mean, it rocked. And it was completely different to what you'd expect Shaky to do. And he, um, he released the double A side, which was This Old House and Trouble. And I did have that single, but I no longer have it. There is a part of me that's thinking, because of like what it symbolises and everything, maybe I should get it again, you know. Okay, so after that, we, you know, it was uh, Shaky said about doing a new album. And this new album was um, an album called Now Listen. Now, there was a single to be released of Now Listen, but it got pulled. The physical CD got pulled. Um, now, there was, I think it was a one-track promo being put around. Um, I, ne I never really bothered with that, to be quite honest with you. I wanted more or less the, uh, the three-track CD single, which was pulled from release. You know, th there was even some shops who actually had it in stock, and they got told the release was pulled, so they had to send it back to the uh, suppliers and stuff. Um, I know somebody who actually physically had the CD, or at least he told me he did anyway. He told me that he had the CD in his hand, and he went to the counter, and when they scanned it, um, that's when they found out it couldn't be sold. So they had to refuse the sale and uh, take the CDs off the shelf. So I, and I was quite surprised at that, because that didn't quite add up to me, if I'm honest. They would have, surely they would have done their checks. Now this person who told me, who I was friends with at the time, um... I, I don't know whether he's being honest with me or not. Um, I'm looking towards no, but there we go. Um, so anyway, the CD single was pulled and all of a sudden Amazon said that they had it in stock. So my 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 brother Wayne, I was like, Wayne, they, they, they've got it in stock on Amazon. Should we get it? They've obviously put it out. Fantastic. So, and it was only like £5 odd. £5 one pence to be quite honest, which I know is an odd figure. Um, so I ordered two, one for him and one for me, and yeah, order went through fine, and it came through a few days later. So I was like, yes, they released it. It wasn't until afterwards, though, I found out they uh, they didn't release it, and that it uh, it got like sort of leaked, and a box or a supply box was stolen from the company or something, and somebody had it, and they they sold it. So, yeah, so this has come, this has become quite a collector's item over the years, but this is the original CD single of Now Listen. And there's the, uh, the three tracks, you had Now Listen, Trouble, live version, which by the way is from the uh, Big Buzz in Swansea from 2006, and then you had uh, Now Listen acoustic version, or acoustic mix, and obviously it's not the right way because I know when it's the right way because of the uh, symbol on this go to day. Okay, that's how the disc was, and there's the inside. Now, obviously, it meant to be some sort of limited edition because they're all limited numbers. Uh, my one is 0194, limited edition number. Okay, um, well, I'm, I'm glad that I got it. I'm, I'm glad that I have it. So, I mean, I remember some, some people were saying that when they are theirs and they, they got a few of them and they put some on eBay, it was pulled and 
all that stuff and what have you. But yeah, now it's in the CD single. Glad I got that. So they, the I Can Help and now it's in the CD single are the two singles I got. Now obviously, then came the album, Now Listen. Now, he was put under a guy named, uh, I think it was, it was Rob Stringer at uh, Sony, who was meant to do all the promotion and everything else like that, the people in charge. And he got a job at the States, um, in, over in the States, and he went over there. And there were people left to look after the album to do the promotion stuff and everything. But nothing ever got uh, nothing ever got taken care of. And the album was basically just left and sort of just released on its own. You know, it was never promoted in the UK. There was no TV advert um, broadcast here over the UK. Um, I know that Shaky did um, one or two interviews where he... Uh, I think it was a few actually. He said that there's a new album that's being done called Now Listen. But I don't think that was enough. I think, you know, full more promotion should have been done for it. Anyway, it basically just appeared in shops and also as well, it was actually sold on his tour. Now, uh, here's the album. This is Now Listen. And to date, as I explained in my vinyl video, this album here is the only album not released on vinyl. Um, I'm hoping it does come out on vinyl. I could get a vinyl made of this, actually. Um, but, you know, I might not. I'm, I'm hoping it'll come out at records, on records all day. Whether it will or whether it won't, um, who knows? Because it is now 2006 and we're now in 2024. Uh, but still, you know, surprises do happen. I mean, other artists have um, had their albums uh, reissued from years ago. So, you know, vinyl has made, a, has made a very, very big comeback. And I love vinyl. I know a lot of people who do. So, hopefully, one day, fingers crossed. Now, this is now Listen. And there's some amazing tracks on here. Um, you've got, like, Pump It Up. Um, you've got um, I Hear You Knocking. Got My Mind Set On You. Uh, it's a shame. Fire Down Below. Now, Fire Down Below was written by Elvis Presley's bass guitarist, Jerry Schiff. And... Um, it was actually all the music arrangements was done for Elvis to put his vocals to in 1976 when he was recording the songs that would feature on Elvis's last two albums from Elvis Presley Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee, and obviously his later album, Moody Blue. And uh, the, like I said, the song, the, everything was, the track was already recorded for Elvis to put his vocal to, but he didn't do it. The instrumental for that uh, is actually on the FTD releases uh, and the Jungle Room sessions. So, um, but then, I mean, I know obviously a lot of other ETAs have recorded it over the years and so forth. But then when Shaky recorded it and put it out in 2006 on this album, wow, did he have to do a rocking version. So, um, yeah, that's fire down below um, on the Now Listen album. So here's the uh, Now there's nothing on there, it's just a clear black, and then obviously the CD's black, yellow, and then you've got a booklet. Yeah, you've got a booklet, which I think is absolutely fantastic. You've got the information about everything and what have you. So, yeah, that's this. Uh, so that's now listen. Um, then something else I was sent years ago then was um, a concert which is called Now Live. Uh, same album cover as uh, Now Listen. Obviously, he's looking a different way there. Um, I can't remember who. Uh, can't remember who sent me this album. Let me take this. Right here we go. So there's the CD live, which obviously they use the album now listen then the single CD colours. Um, and then they've done obviously that day. Um this recorded on the, the October first, two thousand eleven. So I think this is part of this anniversary tour, I think. The only problem is that when I take this out, it it has got a booklet, but it's um it's not stapled. It's not stapled together. Um but I'll try to get through best best way I can. Um, it's got obviously the information. Um, I can't really understand some of the uh, some of the writing because it's in a different country, a different language. Um, so it's got a 
that. That's the middle picture, uh, the middle page. Um, this is where it gets a bit difficult because obviously it's not stapled together. Uh, that there. Um, I have to even get it stapled together. That there. And that's it. So, that's now live. So, and there is a. Uh, just trying to work out now, there's not exactly. Oh, you got Now Listen on the other song. Um, try it down below. You don't exactly have any other songs from the album of Now Listen on you, so I don't think it's promoting the. Uh, the Now Listen album or the Now Listen tour, then should we say, or what have you? Because I don't think there was a tour for this album for, for the Now Listen album because of how it came out. Um, I think this is part of the 30th anniversary tour, I think. So, okay, there we go, that's that. Um, now, it's something I put together myself. There's a lot of uh, remixed uh, songs put onto YouTube, um, so I just downloaded them and put this together. This is called Shapeless Demons Now Remixed. Again, like I said at the beginning, anything that I put together myself um, is not for sale. Well, nothing, none, none of my collections for sale or trade, so don't ask because you'll be wasting your time. And here we go. Okay, and then we've got um, Shaken Stevens' next album, which is Echoes of Our Times, an album of life and times. Now, before. I show you their CD that I got on the shelf. <laughs> um, this is the uh, version I got, which I went out to Cardiff with my son and I got signed. Now, there's no CD in there. Now, this is the book. <laughs> That's the book. Great. I'll show you the book now. Because there is another version available. The other version available is in like a digi pack. Now, um, I did have that version, but I, um, because I had that version, I gave the other version away to a friend, um, which I kind of regret. But there's the CD. There's the original CD that's in that should be in the book pack that I just showed. And I made this myself by putting, you know, double print and whatever. I done this. I made a back cover for myself there by scanning in just the back of that and putting it in. Uh, and also I took my original disc out of there to put it into here. Because like I said, I'm a sucker for jewel cases. The booklet came from the other pack version that was that I had. And like I said, um, I gave it away my other version, which wasn't signed. It was just a basic, and my friend wasn't bothered about. The booklet, so because it was like a open, just a normal open one, and I hate the digi pack things, can't stand them. So this is the booklet for um, Echoes of Our Times. This was more a personal album for Shaky because this was about his uh, family and his ancestors. So there we go. Do -do 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 And this is a great, again, I, I, love, I love everything that Shaky recorded, I really do. Um, everything that Shaky's recorded, I love. And you can see as well through the years, uh, the, the, the mixture of styles. It's like, I completely agree with what Shaky said, you know. He said that rock and roll is an umbrella with all different types of music underneath an umbrella. And I fully agree with that. So that's Echoes of Our Times. And, uh, and somebody sent me this then. Uh, this is called Shaking Seams Echoes of the Tour, an album of live and times. Dulux Edition UK Tour 2017. Okay. Uh, so that's that. Bit thin here, but uh, that's alright. Not thin, to be honest. 
this is obviously a live album. Um, here in showcase. Um, obviously the one there is standing for CD1 and the other one is standing for obviously the two is CD2. Um, that's that. And this also has a booklet. Um, that's this. There's information about the album and so, etc. etc. There's that. And that. And that. So that's, that's Echoes of the Tour. Ooh, how do you say, how do you say? How do you say, 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 say. Okay, and then um, uh, I'll send this then. Um, Shaken Stevens Greatest Hits and more. Uh, Live 2019. Now I've got to be honest with you. Shaky's tour in 2019. Wow, what can you say? It was rocking, and I mean rocking. Now, I I've loved. Um, I mean I've I've gone to see Shaky now every time since 2005, since that, which was the first time I seen him. Um, and I've loved every single one of them, but 2019. I don't know what it was. Um. <laughs> I don't know, did he drink an energy drink or something before coming on stage? I mean, boy, I tell you, he, he rocked it, you know? He, he even picked the microphone stand up, swung around and put it up in the air and moved a bit. And, oh, I, he just blew me away in 2019. He really did. And I, I haven't seen him since. I hope he does another tour soon. Um, anyway, this was sent to me. This is um, live in Offenbach, Germany, February 10th. Um, Now this is the European um, side of the tour. Um, when he did it in Europe, he performed the song uh, "Lady Madonna and I Can Help." Where the UK part of the tour, he didn't. He didn't do that. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then um, in the 2020 box set, "The Fire in the Blood," he put out the um, a concert from 2019. So this is literally just a rip and backup from the. Uh, concept that's in the box set. So, um, so obviously this is like from the, the UK side of things and those two songs I mentioned are not on here. Uh, there's a few other songs as well that didn't make this album like Have You Ever Seen The Rain and Don't Lie To Me which I'm going to come to very shortly about those two tracks because they have been put out there officially. Um, I'm just, I'll, I'll get to them when I get to them. So that's that. And then there was like a a pile of stuff then that was uh, put on YouTube and everything else. Um, I'd never really queued them or seen them before, so I just, I just put the CD together. So, yeah. Go. Cool. Yeah. So that's that. And then also in 2020, before just before the um, the Fire in the Blood box set came out, you had this fantastic release. This was singled out. Now, it's a fantastic release, but the case, uh, or, the, or the digipack, should we say, I absolutely cannot stand these bloody things. Seriously, I mean, I'll tell you what, look at that. There in the corner. I've already ripped the bloody thing slightly when trying to get the CDs out. They're a pain in the backside. But I do have an idea of what I'm going to do. Excuse me. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Now this was great because when this came out, you had the version of like Never, um, which are from the, the track years. You had Somebody Touched Me, which is the single version because the version that's on the album, the track years, is a slightly different take. Um, then you had Justine, obviously. Um, Treat Her Right End of Sleep Spooky. You also had, um, obviously... When that box set came out, I Can Help, just I Can Help, was put onto here. So I, 
Uh, this was this came out just before the 19 CD box set, so I can help this put on here. Um, um, so, so somebody said to me once I was saying about the songs um, I Need You Now and uh, Wild at Heart. Uh, somebody once said to me when I explained to them about it, they said, No, no, it's a new single, it even came in. If you take a look at Singled Out, this on after Down in the Hole, so it's a new. I said, No, it's not. You know, get the program, it's on the order like that because it's a hit compilation and it came out after. I was like, Oh, you know, trying to explain some to some people. You may as well bang your head up against the wall and tell him. So, um, you got all the hits on you. Like I said, sadly, the, the big hits like uh, This Whole House and Green Door are the edited versions. But, you know, again, it's great to have everything here on a fantastic compilation. And um, some cool pictures there. So I love that picture. I love this picture. And you open it up. And it does contain a booklet. I'm not going to take... John, let's take... Right, let's take one of the CDs out, if I can. Right, there's CD3. Oh, fiddles. Oh, ah! Well, I'm not going to take any of the CDs out, I'm sorry. I don't want to really risk in breaking the cover. But you can find images of the CDs on, online, I'm sure. So, what my idea is, is, because it does come with a booklet, I am going to take all three CDs out and the booklet, and then I'm going to scan this in, and the back, and the spine, and I've got a three-way thick jewel case. I'm going to put them in there, and I'm going to, I'll, I'll keep this, obviously, I'll put it away, but I'll put the discs, and I'll do a cover for... Um, a box case, you know. So yeah, I'll do that when I get a chance to. I've been meaning to do it. So that's that. And then we come to the next album, Reset, which um, when I first ordered it, um, I asked a friend of mine because on when Shaky was on tour with Status Quo, um, they put out a two-track. It's not a promo single. No, it's not a single. It's called Reset Exclusive Album Pre-Order CD. This featured two songs. One was one is Beyond the Illusion, which is on the uh, Reset album. And the other song is Have You Ever Seen the Rain Live from, I believe, 2019. So to get our song officially on CD, this is the only way you'll get it. Um... So, only two tracks, and this was quite expensive on the, uh, on the, it was like 20 odd quid. So I contacted my friend Lisa, who um, kindly bought me the, uh, the CD. Now when you got the CD, you had a lanyard with it, and um, I have got the lanyard, I put that away safe, it's in, it's in my keepsake trunk, along with a few other things. So um, that's that, and what happened is when you when you scan the barcode, you pre-ordered. When you scan the lanyard, you pre-ordered the album. Now, when I got the album, it came in a normal standard digi pack, like uh, you know, like this one, one that you open up, and then you have the one side you add the CD, and then the other side you have a booklet. So I ordered that, and that's the version I got. However, I really didn't like the way that the fact that, that the CD could just easily fall out to the one side. There was no like, uh, there was no seal or anything. It would just come out if you wasn't careful. And I really didn't like it. It was too thin, and no, I just didn't like it. I wasn't a fan of it. Again, personal preference. So then I ordered the um, decided to order the book pack. So I got the book pack version. Now this sticker was on the um, the shrink wrapping of the CD that I originally got. So I carefully, as you can see this, carefully taken off, I carefully peeled it off and put it on the book pack. One thing I also did, when I got the book pack version, the CD was silver. I didn't like the CD, didn't like the silver disc. I liked the blue disc that I got with the, uh, the digipack version. 
And this contains a lovely booklet. It's got lovely, some lovely pictures in it. Yeah, because I can't. All right, so there we go. Sorry, I'll show you this the best way I can. Okay, it's also got the, the lyrics of the songs and the thank you notes. Okay. Some lovely pictures taken. Oh, I've got to go back to Echoes a minute. Echoes, it was the only official album that Shakey was not on the cover for. Obviously, he's back on the cover for this one. Some lovely photographs. Now, this came in different versions as well. Uh, you could get versions where you had like six different um, photo cards and everything. Different pictures. So, some lovely, lovely photos in here. It's a lovely book. And then the last few pages then you've got the, the lyrics of the songs. And then after that then oh I've got a little lovely photograph. Um a cool photograph. And then you've got another little more lyrics. Then you got the credits and thank yous. Lovely photograph there. And then, and that. Now, I said to you I didn't like the silver um, CD that originally came with this. But as you can see here, it's blue. Well, of course I did. Come on, you should nugget. I mean, of course I swapped the CDs. The digi black version I had, I put the silver CD in. And I had my CD that I originally got with the uh, the Digipack, and I put it in here. I just not rocking science, you know what I mean? Like, ah. So, um, I mean, I did listen to it, mind, just to make sure, because there was versions put onto YouTube that were different. So, because there were different kind of CDs, I thought, hmm, is there any difference? And there isn't. Um, now the Digipack version I got, um, I gave to my dad as a present. So he has the silver CD. So that's a uh, that's reset. And I keep the um, the, the the two track um, pre order CD in with it like that. However, I do have another version of the of the uh, the book pack because last year for Christmas twenty twenty three. Had a little gifty through the post. Enjoy best wishes, shaky. So everything's the same. So I did end up with a silver CD. <laughs> so the reason why I don't like this because the way they make CDs now are a lot different to the way they used to make them. You know. It just don't seem as doable, and the silver ones feel a little bit, bit weak. So, yeah. So I do still have the um, the silver version. Okay, it did end there though. I saw a picture on um, a group somewhere, uh, one of the Facebook groups. I saw a picture of a, a jewel case version. Now, I thought, I haven't seen that version over here in the UK. Um, where's that from? Excuse me. And I couldn't find it anyway. And then a, a really good friend of mine, uh, Miguel, who lives in uh, Sweden, um, he bought it for me as a gift. So here's the um, jewel case version of Reset. And guess what? It's a blue CD! And then, that picture behind it. And I thought you would have, I thought they would have put the booklet, but they didn't. Um, it's just the thank yous and credits, which is still cool. I'm, I'm over the moon because it's a jewel case version. I don't know whether it was limited or what, but you know. 
Fuel case version. Finally. So, job done. Reset album. Okay, I'm coming to my last two CDs. Now, as I uh, explained a couple of seconds ago, on YouTube, when the uh, songs from Reset got put out, they were slightly different versions. We found that, you know, listening to them, some songs had like more echo, not more echo, sort of reverb on them. And um, there was one song that was completely changed musically, completely changed, you know, different arrangement. So I thought, oh, okay. Um, I thought, well, I'm listening to them on the PC. So I decided to download them as MP3s, convert them then into Wave, so I could put them on the CD. But then I found out if you downloaded from iTunes, you had an extra track. You had Don't Lie To Me Live from 2019. So I thought, oh, okay. So uh, I got that, and I decided to rip the, the two-track pre-order CD and pull um, Have You Ever Seen The Rain? And then I looked up the uh, the single version then of um, All You Need Is Greed, which is on YouTube, and there are few, there's two or three versions of that. So I listened to them, I thought, right, well, that sounds the same as the album, and this one sounds different. So, I decided to download all the versions, like I said, on YouTube, and put my own CD version together, and I did that. I love that picture inside the booklet, so um, I scanned that in, and um, I call it a special dual edition. Like I said, it's just for my purpose only. And I even redone the tracks, like redone the order of the tracks. And to end it, I put, uh, have you ever seen the rain and don't lie to me. So, yeah. I think it's, I think the song TikTok is the one that's completely changed. Um, again, I can already see myself as reflected. Hello. <laughs> so, that's that. And I just did that. So, that's my version of Reset. Uh... Okay, so then the last CD that I put together, um, I had some tracks um, that was doing nothing really. Um, like I said, my CDs in the 19 CD book pack, um, I don't listen to because I like to keep them in pristine condition. So there were some songs like the, the song from the Blue Show, the BBC Blue Show. That's on the, the, the bonus disc, uh, the extra disc again, should we say. I think it's the last extra disc actually in the set and I had some other songs that was on like the single like I had the Now Listen Acoustic and the Trouble Live and um, I pulled It's My Own Business from the Albert Lee um, birthday the DVD and then there was, somebody put a, a remix of All In, um, It All Comes Round and I pretty 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 enjoyed that one so I downloaded that off YouTube and everything else and I I decided to put this CD together. This is called Reinvention because there, obviously there's songs on you from Now Listen, obviously there's songs on you from The Blues Show, which is from Echoes of Our Times. <coughs> and, um, <coughs> excuse me. Plus, then, uh, all you need is greed, radio edit, which was. <coughs> for when it was first broadcast on radio because um, again the mix is different and then obviously <clears throat> that all comes around remix so there's songs on here from the last three albums so and I was reading the information in um, in the booklet for a reset and something that really uh, stuck out for me was the word reinvention and I was thinking about the last three albums thinking well you wanted to move on from the hits and he's done that and I think that should be like celebrated in a sense by listening to all three albums and I'm thinking if you put all three albums together on one disc for instance and just listen to it it'd be like wow that's pretty you know pretty cool of how that's been done and the um the progression that he's done through through the years so I that's basically what I did with this I took those songs put them together I put the CD together reinvention so I've uh, so I can at least now listen to the songs and enjoy them at my own leisure, so that's what I did there. 
So, right, I should show you this this way. So this is from Now Listen, a picture from the Now Listen take. Uh, that I took from Echoes of a Time. I put a picture of all three albums. Um, and then I did that, that's from Reset. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that is basically my main CD collection of Shaky show and I've shown you obviously the two book packages I've got a reset um I spoke about this um <clears throat> there's two other CDs I'm gonna talk to you about now um in 2009 I did something for Shaky through a guy named Mike and um who I was an email with um as a way of saying thank you for what I did um, I got this sent to me from Shaky, signed directly to me personally. I said, thank you. This was Merry Christmas Everyone, which was released after the Epic Masters box set. Um, so the disc design here is the same way as they did the Epic Masters, only this is white instead of blue, which you will find out when I do my box sets video. Okay. Um, and there is the Epic Masters, if you want a little quick preview of what they're like. Um, obviously on the inside, got the information there. Uh, so that's that. Now, um, when this got released, they had, you had three bonus tracks. You had the original album, 12 track album, and then you had Merry Christmas Everyone Extended, Merry Christmas Everyone Instrumental, and true love extended. So that's that. Now another CD I'm going to talk to you about, like I said at the beginning, is this one right here. Now I don't. I'm not bothered about pop, about the politics. Okay, I'm not into all of that. We all know the story beyond the dispute between Shake and Stevens and the Sunsets and Shake and Stevens, and in the documentary that was broadcast in 2013. Um, we we know about the, the, the court case and the, the court battle and everything about royalties and all that all that lot. Now, I'm not going into that, okay? I'm not into politics. I just love the music. That's what it was all about for me. It's about the music. Um, anybody who puts any comments regarding the, the, the dispute or anything, I won't hesitate, as I always do, anything negative. You will be banned from this channel and your comment will be removed. So, uh, that's that. I really can't care less, alright? Um, with me, I'm one way or the other, can't care less. So, how to be awarded two gold records by major record companies and not be paid a penny in royalties. Now, this was put by Paul Barrett, okay? It contains, I'm no JD, I'm rocking and shaking. And, um, I mean, think about it. If, if 2020 taught us anything, you know? Who would have guessed that we would have gone through such a pandemic like that? Um, we lost so many people. So if 2020 uh, taught us anything, it's, I think it's time to let the bygones be bygones and just move on from... I mean, okay, I know there's some things you can't do that with. I got things I can't do that with either. But um, I think it's just picking the battles and everything like that. So, you know, I think the, the I think what we need is a little bit of respect, you know? So... This obviously tells you about the uh, the CD and about the albums. Um, and on the inside, there is some cool, awesome photographs. Now, why have I got this in a clear case on this side? Well, it was originally a black uh, tray, but I uh, changed the case when, in 2009, um, I became friends with a guy named Dave Riley. A lot of people know him as Rockin' Dave Riley, um, who is one of my closest friends, who was sadly recently last week had a stroke, and he's now in hospital. Uh, anyway... We become friends because we, you know, I used to do the boot sales with my wife, um, and basically, 
it was a splot market in Cardiff, or splot boot sale, whichever you want to call it. It's not, it doesn't, it's not there anymore. Um, and Dave Riley and me become friends, and the very first day that we became friends, we were speaking about Elvis and music, you know, from one entertainment to another and so forth, and all of a sudden, this guy came up, and I didn't have a clue who he was, but he was at my stall, and he looked at Dave, Dave obviously knew him, and Paul looked at me and he went, oh, not another Elvis. And I just sort of looked and I was like thinking, are you taking the mick? Uh, and Dave turned around and said, oh no, this one does shaky. And he went, oh right, I see. And he was like, that's interesting. <laughs> and I was like, okay, we'll get with the program. All right, well, what's all this about like, you know? And... I just looked at him, he looked at me, and I looked at Dave, and they went, you don't know who this guy is? And I went, no, I've never seen him before in my life. Well, I may have seen him around the boot sale, right? but, pff. and he said, uh, this is Paul Barrett. And I went, okay, doesn't ring a bell? The name rings a bell, yeah, but, uh, and he went, shake the steams and the sunsets. And I went, no. And Paul was quite, uh, he found that quite funny. I was like, no way. Uh, you're the manager? I was like, yes. You know, this deep voice he spoke. And we started speaking. I, I shook his hand and he could have knocked me over with a, fe with a feather. And I was speaking to him about the music. But what Paul liked is the fact that I didn't just like um, Shape and Stevens and the Sunsets or Elvis. It was the fact that I liked rock and roll music in general and rockabilly. Like I liked Gene Vincent. I liked uh, all the American rock and roll as well. Um, certain things that you wouldn't really know over here in the UK. And um, unless you're into, you know, full on rockabilly and stuff. And... We were talking about the history behind things, about the songs, about how things was changed and you know, we went into everything. We were speaking for quite some time. And I left I just left my wife to do, do all the selling. And um he was quite impressed with me and um you know, about the, the knowledge that I had. And uh yeah, it was it was quite quite uh quite amazing for me really to speak with somebody who has managed um one of my childhood heroes um obviously with you know with, with the sunsets and um i learned a lot from him i learned a lot about um the sunsets before shaky came along i learned so much about when shaky stevens was with the sunsets i learned about how things ended i did learn all about the the other stuff as well, which, like I said, I'm not gonna um, talk about on here. That's um, that'll remain private between myself and Paul. Sadly, however, Paul is no longer with us. Now, they were the days I never really thought about photographs. To be quite honest, I never thought about photographs. However, I do have a photograph with me and Paul, and I'm wearing a hat. And because when when I'm not like singing or anything, I'm I'm just down, you know what I mean? I don't really shave and I just, you know, let it grow and stuff. Uh, I, I remember it was it was bitter cold the day that we um that we that we met and um it was in a cold period and you know I said to him, I remember saying to him that the next time um I, I see you, I said, you know, i am you, you know, I think it was every other week we see at the time. And uh, Paul mentioned this C D to me. And I said to him that I had it, and I said, you know, could I be, would I be being cheeky if I would ask you to sign it? And he said, bring it along the next time you come down here. Because he was always down there, pretty often. It was once or twice he wasn't there, but he was pretty often down there. And he, he bought a few things as well off, um, off mine and my wife's stall. And, um, and so I, when, when I got home, I, I dug this out and I, uh, I instantly changed the case because I was looking at the cover and I thought, oh, where, where's he going to sign it to? 
and um, I changed the uh, the tray over, and he knew me as Shaky, uh, as he knew me as Clinton. Uh, my real name is Clinton, which is what C stands for in CJ, and but he knew me as CJ. You know, everybody did. It was easier, and when I saw him the next time, he I took the case, the the tray out, and he signed it for me in there. To CJ, lots of luck and best wishes, Paul. No, Paul B. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was, uh, yeah, that was quite a day. And the same day that this was signed, um, we had a photo taken. And I'm all bungled up. I've got, I think I've got two jackets on or two coats and a big coat all over you. Um, if the photo is now on the screen, it means I have um, gone through my files and dug the photo out. If it hasn't, then I apologise. But, um, yeah, because uh, I met Shaky a few times as well. So, again, if those photos have come on the screen, then fantastic. If not, then I'm, then I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, they are, uh, yeah, so that, that means a lot to me, you know, and like I said, I... I can't thank Paul enough for the, the insight that he gave me into, you know, people he managed. And it was actually, thanks to Paul Barrett, that um, myself and Linda Gay Lewis become friends. Because Linda Gay was doing a tour and she was over in the UK and uh, Paul invited me to, to meet her. And uh, I was, again, you cannot be down with a feather. Is this really happening, you know, to somebody like myself? You know, I'm, I'm no one special. Um, I mean, Linda Gay Lewis, the brother of Jerry Lee Lewis. I mean, what's happening here, you know? And um, Paul gave me his uh, personal business card with his home phone number on, which I do still have in my keepsake box. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just extraordinary, you know? But I remember I couldn't make it on the evening to meet uh, Linda. And, but, but we... We've remained friends and we're still friends now. And, you know, it is really amazing. You know, it truly is. And so, yeah, that is basically my story. And, uh, yeah, I really, um, yeah, and that's that. So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And uh, my next video will be sometime next week. Where I'm going to be showing you my Shake and Stevens box sets. Uh, oh, where do you go? When I. I also have this. This is personally signed to me from Shaky. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely photograph there. So, right, so anyway, that was just like sort of a random look in the corner of my eye. Okay, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. The next video will be my Shake and Stevens. Um, box sets and do you know, I don't know how I want to do box sets and DVDs yeah do you know what I'm going to do my Shake and Stevens box sets and DVDs and my i got two books as well so yeah so take care of yourselves and um, keep well and uh, if you keep rocking I'll keep shaking <laughs> take care guys <laughs>